Hello and welcome to this quick introduction for MGear 5.1 and some updates for UI Gear. So in this version, we have a bunch of uh, new changes. The biggest one is that we have improved the um, ability to match IKFK with an arbitrary length of the limb. So right now, if I do this, we can match IKFK. Obviously, we do a weird like rotation like for instance we take the fk and we do it in a weird angle like this when we change to ik we'll try to match as best as it can with the ik so you can see here because the ik works in always in a plane it's not exactly the same position if you use like arbitrary kind of rotations but if you work on the plane say so for instance if i if i work on uh, this uh, given plane for for this arm here and I go to IK, as you can see here, it's matching cor uh, correctly. Also, we can do it the other way. So if we go on the IK and we change, for instance, this light and say, okay, I want to put my elbow here. If I go and go to FK, you're gonna match it correctly. The uh, legs or other limbs, it works exactly the same. That's one of the nice improvements that we did for this version. And one of the biggest, it's the uh, changes on the RBF manager. I'm gonna create a dedicated video or videos on the documentation for these changes because it's not like a big change in functionality, but a change in uh, how we handle the the solver. Because until now we were uh, sharing the solver or we were vendoring the solver from Shapes, the plugin from Brave Rabbit, and they changed the kernel a few versions ago so if we go here on on shapes you can see here uh, this statement that we have a new uh, weight driver uh, algorithm so the kernel is different and what it happened is like the behavior was changing so right now we support both but we found out that the old kernel was working better for the use case that we were using here with the rbf manager and also because we were vendoring the the weight driver from shapes depending on which version of shapes you had installed you may have issues because we can support both the old and uh, new kernel but shapes the new one doesn't support it so it means that if you were loading the old one from m gear and loading the other one from shapes you may have some issues some compatible issues so in order to avoid that we have created our own fork that basically is the old kernel that we get better results for the rvf manager but rename it and with a new node id so basically that allows you to have uh, both plugins loaded at the same time without compatibility issues i'm going to create more documentation on this we ha also have created a little command here to help you update all scenes so you can pass from the old version to the new version without uh, problems the other change that is worth mentioning you can obviously read always the um, release log here but the other change is that we or simon find a way to uh, make that the remote server that we have in unreal works for newer unreal versions so right now it i mean a 5.6 so you can see here if i come here on your gear and for instance import a selected data from unreal level it's loading correctly and you can send back and forward all the static meshes and cameras that before was not possible. Also, we have improved the building times on the control rig builder. So now it's much more faster. And yeah, that's it for this update. You can, again, like I was commenting, like commenting, uh, checking here all the little changes. And yeah, looking forward to hear your feedback. And thank you so much. See you.